This morning, the return of America's elephant. That's how many refer to wood bison, the largest land mammal found in North America. Wood bison were declared extinct in the 1900s until a tiny herd was found in a remote section of Canada. That discovery helped launch a program that has reintroduced these giants in the U.S. To see them up close, we visited the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center, an hour outside Anchorage. And so this field over here is their winter pasture, but during the summer we do rotational grazing. From a distance, they look just like prairie bison, that quintessential symbol of the American West. But get a little closer and you realize wood bison are the supersized version. I often relate these guys to North America's version of the elephant. Sarah Howard runs the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. The social hierarchies and the behaviors that they display, they're a lot like an elephant in that way. It's just really cool to be in the presence of a bison. For as long as we know, wood bison roam the plains of North America. The indigenous Athabascan people of Alaska relied on them for food and shelter for more than 10,000 years. Until in the late 1800s and early 1900s, the wood bison disappeared. They were thought to be extinct. About 65 years ago, a small herd was found in a remote section of northern Canada. From that batch, the wood bison reintroduction program was eventually born. These guys being grazers, Alaska doesn't have any grazers. We think about moose, and moose are actually browsers. That means they eat woody vegetation. They're not on the ground eating all the grasses and sedges. So having a bison back out there just creates a healthier environment. It creates a healthier ecosystem from animals the size of bison all the way down to the voles and the mice. Five new calves have been born this spring to go along with 2021's yearlings. What's this one's name? This is, I think, 307. 307 is last year's baby. Pretty sure 307 is sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah, we had gemstones last year. Do you like the food? It looks like He's you do. Him, oh, oh, geez. We're getting aggressive with wow. it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You don't need to be pawing the ground at us. I gave you that cube in a nice manner. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to feed you. I so much enjoy the show. Oh, wonderful. It is so educated. Sarah Howard has become a bit of a celebrity in recent years following the debut of the reality show Alaska Animal Rescue, which highlighted the work she and her colleagues are doing. I'll give her a couple tries, and if she doesn't take it, then I'll have to call the vet and see what she wants us to do. The Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center provides safe habitats for everything from caribou to wolves to bears. But today, the unquestioned star is the wood bison, the focus of not just a rescue, but a complete revival. So this is that first time mom, and that's her first baby, and that baby's only three weeks old. I lived here every day and stayed with the bison every day to prepare them for transport into the wild. Darren Bruning is a biologist with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. He's been working on this program since its inception. 16 years ago, they built a sanctuary here where wood bison could successfully breed in captivity. By 2015, the first herd of more than 100 bison were successfully released in the wild, 330 miles northwest of Anchorage, using a C-130 plane. How do you transport a 2,000 pound grumpy wood bison. <laughs> One step at a time with a lot of patience and taking it very slowly. Why is it so important now that wood bison are back? It's a grand opportunity for restoration of a missing piece of our incredible landscape. Since being reintroduced, wood bison have had their challenges, including two especially brutal winters. But the program continues working away, and to have them back at all is something almost no one imagined 
just a generation ago. What does all this mean for you personally? I truly can't believe I get to be part of this. It, it is an amazing, it's a dream come true for me. And they just let us know in the last couple of days that just this week, 28 more wood pies what? were sent back into wow. the wild. I thought we were going to say that 28 born. more were born. were born. Well, there are more being born. <laughs> they had been born. All the time. But the goal, the goal of, of the center overall right. for every animal is to, if they can, to get them back out yeah. into yeah. the wild, if it can be done safely. What That's, an incredible so. piece. Wow. Yeah. The work that they're doing there. Majestic animals. They yeah. really are. When, when I was up in Montana doing the buffalo story and the reintroduction there from Canada, it's, it's important to get them back into their native, native working space.